come together. And um, it was fascinating um, in the TV realm. And then just recently we just filmed the next um, uh, Child's Play movie, the next Chucky film. We just got back from Romania. Uh, uh, Romania, geez, listen to me. That's a flashback. <laughs> uh, we just got back from Canada uh, about two weeks ago. And uh, we've been in Romania eight years ago doing the last one. So there's this huge gap in between. Well, oh, that was in Romania, the last one was? She and Chucky was, yeah. Oh, and wow. The, there was a very small amount of the crew was, was English-speaking, and a uh, large percentage of it was, was local that were, you know, English as a second language. So it was really challenging, and, and you know, everybody was very committed to doing the best job they could, but the resources were completely different. I mean, all the way down to the fact that power wasn't regulated into the sound stages, and we had a computer blow up that had all the lip sync dialogue in it. I mean, just a completely different reality there eight years ago than what we just finished um, filming with uh, for the next one, which is going to be called uh, Curse of Chucky. And it's going back to the horror roots and and, Wonderful. and <laughs> just being really scary and really creepy and through just the weirdest of circumstances, uh, Brad Doris' daughter, Fiona Doris, who's 30, is the lead actress in the movie. Oh, wow. Um, it, yeah, I just, she, you know, brought her dad in to read the dialogue for, um, the, the doll character, you know, Chucky. And Don met with her and talked with her and, you know, moved on and was interviewing actresses for it. And he kept in his mind coming back to Fiona and then he had her audition for it and just went, oh my gosh, she's, she's amazing. And, and she is. She really was committed to making the, the horror of it very real. And, um, I think it's going to be a, a really good film. But it's interesting to look at the filmmaking process now being more part of the, the pre-production aspect of it and seeing the, again, the dynamics of how the machinery works uh, in the film industry, the same way we were watching it in the television industry on pavement. Um, and just how much marketing is a part of things and how, how much a part of that is held by um, the internet and online advertising and everything else and New business models, things that I never thought of as a as an effects guy, suddenly were relevant because we were, you know, helping build a franchise or relaunch a franchise. Really, um, so that was a great learning experience too. Um, oh, go ahead. So, no, it's just the you know it seems like there's always something to learn. I think, which is which is great. Yeah. Now the the design the. I'm guessing you designed the Chucky for this next movie. I saw the photo online a couple of months ago, I guess, with all the scars on the face and everything. That was your, your Yeah, it's interesting because that was like a fan um, homage. It had it didn't come from the studio. No, oh, okay. The studio is figuring, figuring out how to market it and what they want to show. And they're yeah. very uh, specific with us. That we're not allowed to talk about it in any way whatsoever or show anything I guess some people were posting photos on Instagram yeah I was like wow they're showing him this far ahead they don't even have a release date <laughs> they're showing him yeah, but I, I, September the, the irony is is I don't think any of those photos were actually of the real thing yeah so it's kind of and funny it, it spread like wildfire you know on the website so I was like oh wow yeah getting yeah. it out early I guess yeah <laughs> And we posted some stuff on Alterian's Facebook page, that was like, sort of like behind-the-scenes photos of things going on in the shop, and you can see like some Chucky sweaters hanging on a on a rack in the background in one shot and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, you know, all, these, all this stuff explodes online. There's no stitches in the sweater. Does that mean blah blah blah? And it's like, well, you know, there could be an activity because when you make it, you have to make it solid before you cut it up. So. Yeah. Maybe it's going to get cut up, and maybe not. And it's just interesting to see people um, people's preferences too. You know, yeah, yeah. what they would like to see, and who's the most vocal about it. Yeah. Um, I, I know that's a big part of what you're reading. You know, who's the one yeah. that's going to be willing to to take the time to 
to post something. Um, so, it, again, it, it's just interesting because you're more directly connected now with the people that um, are fans of the of the series. And and the feedback is, is obviously immediate. So it, yeah. it's really pretty cool. And, and genre fans, it seems, especially horror genre fans, they're the hardest to please, it would seem like, you know, because there's always, regardless of what you do, you know, a thousand people may sing it, you know, before the yeah. movie is out. And, and they're, I think they you know? seem to, yeah, they seem to be the most vocal, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, so, you know, it's sometimes it's kind of hard to put your tongue because you want to say, hey, don't worry about that or whatever, you know, but you can't really respond yet. Um, but I, I do know that Universal is really keen on the um, online uh, advertising and promotion that incorporates us when the film yeah. gets closer to coming out, which will be, unfortunately, a whole year from now, you know, next October. Oh, okay. Um, so everybody's got to keep a lid on it for a while longer. Oh yeah, yeah. Which, which is harder in this day and age, but I I got to 